Hello viewers, this is Christabel Dana from Trinity Software. In this video, we are going to see the bitwise operators in Python. So this is the list of the bitwise operators and starting from the unary operator. The unary operator is bitwise not operator and all the remaining 5 operators are binary operators. So unary operator takes only one operand. So the operand here is A whereas bitwise AND, OR, XOR, left shift and right shift takes two operands. The left operand is A here and the right operand is B. So let's see each and every operator in detail. So the first operator is bitwise not. So bitwise not the symbol used is tilde in this symbol and we can find out the bitwise not for 5 and it gives minus 6. If I give minus 5 the value will be 4. So the formula for this bitwise not operation is for any x it is minus x minus 1 for positive number it will give minus x minus 1 minus 6 so here it is 4 so how this bitwise operations are done in python in python it works only in integer data type and integers in python are of unlimited size ok these integers are converted into binary numbers and operations are performed after performing the operations it is converted back to decimal type which is represented as integer data type ok so now to find out the bitwise not the first thing is you should know about ones complement and twos complement of a binary number so ones complement is exactly what bitwise not is doing it's just inverting the bits 0 is converted to 1 1 is converted to 0 and twos complement is you are adding 1 to the ones complement of a binary number I have given an example here so 5 the equivalent binary value is represented as in a 3 digit form you can represent it as 101 I am just appending some 5 bits before so that it becomes an 8 bit representation just for our understanding and the ones complement is I am just inverting all the bits if it is 0 it is converted to ones and if it is 1 it is converted to 0 so this is the ones complement representation of 5 with this I am adding 1 to get the two's complement number so this is the two's complement of the binary number 5 okay now let's see how this uh, bitwise not operator works here I have given bitwise not of 11 it gives minus 12 at the same time bitwise minus 11 will give 10 so what exactly is happening in the binary representation for 11 the equivalent binary value is noted first in the 8 bit representation so it is 1011 appended with zeros ok now just you have to find out the ones complement the ones complement will give you 4 ones 0 1 double 0 the equivalent decimal value for this is minus 12 that's what we have got the answer but we should know how this represents the minus 12 for that purpose I am going to make use of this two's complement. Just for our understanding, we have done these two steps. Otherwise, it's over one's complement. You just got this number as such. Now, the MSV that is the most significant bit is this bit which is present first. So this bit is called as the LSP least significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. Usually, most significant bit represents the sign of the number. So if it is 1, it means that it is a negative number. If it is 0, it is a positive number. So in this case, it is a negative number. So I am just replacing that 1 by a negative symbol for our understanding. And then now I am going to apply the 2's complement. So to apply the 2's complement is like you are going to inverse all the bits. So these 3 bits are inverted. You get triple zero, and then this one inverted 1 0 double 1. That is what you got ones complement and I am going to add 1 to it now it will be like this is the final value so minus is carried on as such and then double one double zero represents the number 12 we can just find out how it is represented bin of 12 will give you this 0 b represents that it is a binary number and double one double zero represents 12 so in this way it means minus of 12 is the answer which we have got this is how it works for a positive number 
in case if it is a negative number so if it is minus 11 first thing is we have to find out the equivalent binary number for minus 11 so for that I am taking the positive number first so the positive number is here to find out the negative number we have to go for 2's complement so 2's complement is again you are inversing all the bits plus 1 which will give you 4 1's and 0 1 0 1 now I can just apply this tilde that is bitwise not so bitwise not is we are going to inverse the bits right just the ones complement so the ones complement is obtained all bits are inverted so that's it since this msb is 0 it means it's a positive number I am just replacing it with a plus symbol and all the remaining bits shows that so this 1010 represents that it is 10 so even here we can check bin of 10 will give you 1010 this is how bitwise not operator works now let's see the other binary operators if a and b are the input there are four possible combinations 0 and 0 0 and 1 1 0 and 1 1 so these are the po four possible combinations for input in that case so bitwise and operator works in such a way that if both the input is 1 the result will be 1 otherwise the result will be 0 this is how and operator works or operator works in such a way that if both the input is 0 the result will be 0 otherwise it will give 1 as the output and XR operator works in such a way that if both the inputs are same either both are 0 or both are 1 the result will be 0 otherwise if both the inputs are different 0 and 1 or 1 and 0 the result will be 1 this is how XR works now let's take a simple example 10 Amazon 4 so the equivalent binary value is calculated and then an operation is performed and then the result is given in this case 10 and 4 the, the resultant is 0 we will see how this works in this website it is clearly given bitwise and operator what I gave is 10 and 4 right so you can uh, see the binary representation here in this case if, if you see 1 2 is represented as 1 0 4 1 double 0 so 10 and 4 how it is performed so the equivalent binary representation of 10 is we have find out just now 4 zeros and 1 zero, 1 zero. and for 4 it is this way now I am performing the AND operation so it gives 1 and 0 gives 0 0 and 1 gives 1 and 0 0 so full and full it is 0 so that uh, equivalent value is 0 check with some other value 10 and 12 will give you so in this case both the bits are 1 so this will the resultant will be 1 and we get 8 here similarly you can find out 10 or 12 10 or 12 means if any one of the bit is 1 you will get 1 as the output if both the bits are 0 you will get 0 so the equivalent decimal value is here so I have given a link to convert the binary to decimal and decimal to binary you can go through that link if you, if you want to know how this conversions are done next we will try with XR operation it's 10 XR 2 so 10 and XR 2 here if you see for both the input is same the output will be 0 if both are different the output will be 1 this is how the bitwise operators work for bitwise AND or an XL. So now we have seen four operators bitwise NOT AND or XL. The last two are left shift operator and right shift operator. All these things are binary operators. So it means it will take two operands left operand and right operand. So in this case left shift operator the left operand value will be moved left by the number of bits specified by the right operand for example if I give 10 left shift 2 it means that the equivalent binary representation of 10 will be this and it will be shifted towards the left by 2 digits so we will see how it works now 10 left shift 2 so in this case I am shifting 
all the bits towards the left so i'll be dropping these two bits so it will be 0 0 so 0 0 1 0 and 1 0 and i'll be appending two more bits to the right so this the equivalent decimal value for this will be 40 so what we get is 10 left shift by 2 we get 40 okay and right shift operator is the left operands value will be moved towards the right by the number of sp bits specified by the right operand so i can apply the same thing here a different number maybe 10 15 right shift 2 will give you 15 the value is uh, four zeros and four ones okay now i am going to shift it to the right so these two bits are dropped okay dropped and our, all the other thing, uh, bits are shifted to the right so I, I am going to append two bits here so the equal decimal value will be three in this way binary right shift operator works this is how bitwise operators works in python thanks for watching